I remember thinking as my hand reached for the door, should I try to run or stay in the aircraft? It was a typical night, busy, but not overly so. Another call, ICU to ICU, fairly routine. At the receiving hospital, we accidentally left the radio in the helicopter. That's okay. We'll get it if we need it. Link of complacency. After a long walk to ICU, we gave report, charted, and assisted with care while socializing. In the distance, an overhead page for a trauma alert. Is that trauma coming by air or ground? Should we call to see if we need to move off the pad? No, MedCom will notify us. But we don't have our radio. That's okay. They'll use our pagers to get hold of us. Link of assumption. What we didn't know was that because we had been in ICU for a while and MedCom was busy with multiple other transports, our presence on the helipad was forgotten. Link of absent-mindedness. Our walk-arounds completed and nearly secured in our seats, we heard the sound of a helicopter on final behind us. My partner, staring at a landing light, said, Hey, do they see us? Then louder, Do they see us? My heart's pounding. I can't see them. There's no place to go. No time to call. Do I run or stay? Suddenly, a helicopter passed over us, doing a go-around. The other pilot, during his reconnaissance of the LZ, saw our taillight and went around. He said it was not even close. He was in control the whole time. But our perception was of danger, and what could have happened scared and sobered us. The pilot's awareness broke the chain that we were building, a chain building toward disaster forged with the links of complacency, assumption, and absent-mindedness, a chain I don't ever want to forge again. Change.